Hi guys, today we're going to be demonstrating how to properly and thoroughly brush your dog's coat. Uh, it's really important um, that you introduce the tools first before you groom your dog. Uh, this prepares them for what's going to be happening next on each process. Um, I think it's really important to make it a positive experience right from when they're a tiny puppy as well is when you should be starting to introduce grooming. Um, so that prepares them for when they're coming to the salon to have a groom. They'll know what to do, they'll be really relaxed, they won't find it stressful from then onwards. Um, so it's probably recommended as well before you start brushing them that they've exercised, uh, they've been to the toilet as well so they're more able to concentrate. table is a really good piece of equipment to have at home or alternatively you can use a tabletop surface. Um, I know a lot of pet owners won't have one so again another great area is just to brush them on the floor. Start by brushing your dog for only a few minutes a day so you don't overdo it and gradually build up that time so they can become more relaxed to the activity. So to introduce the tools, um, you just want to let the dog sniff them first. Yep, Fizz is absolutely fine with the tools. Good girl. And then you just want to gently just move the back of the tool over the body to start with until they're comfortable. Once they are comfortable with the tool, then you can begin to use it on them. I would recommend using treats and maybe a clicker to help speed up the process. Always brush in the direction of the coat growth. Don't brush for too long in one place as this can cause brush burn. Coats and jackets I find tend to contribute to matting. Once you have taken a coat or a jacket off, make sure you give it a thorough brush in. If your comb hits a knot, try using the dematting spray and give it a good brush and gently tease the knot out. The reason for brushing the coat is to help remove debris, dirt, loose hair and small knots so the skin is able to breathe and the coat and skin is kept in a good healthy condition. If you really struggle keeping on top of the coat, I recommend bringing your dog in for a cut on a more regular schedule to the groomers every four to six weeks and having a more suitable shorter cut. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of line brushing. Uh, the reason that we line brush the coat is because in the undercoat is where the matting actually starts. It's not in, in the top coat, which is where most pet owners will start, is along the surface area. Um, so what we need to do is, we need to hold the coat up with one hand, hold it out of the way so that we can see sort of down into the undercoat, into the skin. And we need to brush to those areas with the brush with the other hand. area that I find the dog gets most matted is around the neck where the collar would sit and around the shoulder blades where a harness may sit so you need to pay extra attention to these areas and give them a very thorough brush through and then once it's all brushed through you use the comb to comb right down to the skin. Some breeds such as Spaniels and Schnauzers have key areas that need brushing on them, including the skirts, chest, sides and tummy. On some bearded breeds such as Doodles and Bearded Collies, make sure you pay extra attention to the muzzle area. Other key areas include between the stopper pad, the legs and elbows, in between the back legs, the hocks, and in between the toes. 
So when brushing underneath the legs and the armpits, we need to be aware of the dog's actual anatomy. And when we lift the leg, we want to make sure we're not causing them any discomfort or pain. So we need to just gently grab the bottom of the, the foot, lift this, gently, gently pull upwards like that. And we don't want to be pulling outwards as this can cause them pain. Always use your hand to cover the areas that are most sensitive, including any umbilical hernias, nipples, the vulva, penis and testicles. Mm -hmm.